Hello, this is George with Watchman German Shepherds. Uh, I'm going to do a brief introduction here to a video that I made of Nala delivering her puppies a couple of weeks ago. And so uh, it took me this long because Nala lost a few puppies during the delivery. Uh, she ended up with two healthy males and two healthy females, and they're doing very good. I've done a couple of up update videos with them. Um, but for the video we have now, during the delivery, uh, Nala lost two males and one female. So that's kind of shown in the video, and you'll see some of that there. But I did want to just uh, say something before I get into the video. Uh, and so hopefully uh, it's appreciated by people that see it, and uh, many can uh, relate to it. Breeders can relate to uh, the sadness and all, and everyone could and we learn to relate to the uh, the happiness for the puppies that survive, and uh, we're always thankful for that and and everything. So uh, I do hope that you appreciate the video, and uh, we'll see you soon. Have a great day. Hello, it's George of Watchman German Shepherd. We're here with Nala. Today's October fifth. It's about twelve twenty uh, on Monday afternoon. Again, October fifth. Nala's temperature dropped last night to 97.9, and that's a pretty good indicator she's going to deliver within 24 hours, and uh, here we are, just um, mm, a little more than 12, 16 hours since I took that reading, so just be uh, 15, 16 hours since I took that reading there, so uh, she's getting ready, I don't need the thermometer at this point to know that she's uh, going to deliver her litter pretty soon so we'll keep up with things and uh, get a bunch of videos put them together uh, just uh, chronicling uh. okay now i had puppy one that's a male and he's doing really good you see him making himself at home going back there for some milk i'm going to pull him out here a little more <laughs> get over here there probably is milk back there but We'll keep it a little more in view. So, yeah, she did okay. The puppy was breached. I had to really help her there. Um, Nala doesn't get heavy contraction. She kind of does it all on her own there. And she doesn't get uh, involuntary contractions that I can tell, really. Um, so, that's okay. I mean, uh, as long as she's pushing the puppy along. It's gonna, it's gonna come into the delivery, the birth canal, and then we gotta get it from there. So, um, anyway, here's number one, a boy, and Nala has not forgotten her craft. So we'll be back. Okay, we're here with Nala. She had puppy number two, a male. He's a little guy, but I'm encouraged that he's pretty vigorous. Uh, he's really eating away there so he came out right away and was looking to eat and pushing his way around so that's a good sign size isn't everything but it's something and so he is uh, proportioned he's not uh, any way deformed or anything so he's just little you can see he's half the size of the first male um, that happens right that can happen and uh, he'll just be a smaller puppy the males uh, with the West German shoreline are between 70 and 90 pounds, so um, might have a 75 pound. I don't think I've seen a male smaller than 75, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how the little guy does, just so he's healthy. That's my concern. All right, we'll pick it up. Looks like Nala's ready for uh, puppy number three. I've uh, seen a little bit. Hey, it's George. We're back with Nala. Still three. I'm just going to show you how I attempt to get them to latch on, make sure they're latching on a nipple and and getting fed. Now the little guy, I really put up to it a few times, and he is latching on. <clears throat> Bear with me. Get up close here. So, I'll let, now it's going to fuss a minute. Sometimes I'll go to put the puppy on nipple, and she'll decide that it's time to clean the puppy up. And so I'll let her get that out of her system. So she is cleaning the little guy. And then there's the third one born. 
and the first one born right next to him. And so they all uh, gather around, they know what to do, and uh, if it is a problem that they don't, you just help them out a little bit. What are you doing? Oh, you are so good. You're so good, Nala. Good girl. Yeah, so I helped Nala out again there. That puppy was also breached. Um, the little puppy honestly came out so fast. I don't know if it was breached or not, but small as that one is, it wouldn't really matter. Um, so the first and the third were definitely breached. And as long as you help them, uh, it seems to be uh, makes all the difference. Um, just get get a hand on the puppy and pull it out nice and nice and slowly as the, the mom pushes and so now you can see them they're pretty much in there be positive unless you feel see like this guy his mouth is nowhere near a nipple so what I'm gonna do is uh, oops try to keep the camera going Nala, Nala, get, get. So I try to find the nipple. Yeah, they're all lower the way she's laying. So here's one. So I use my index finger. <laughs> He's fighting me. I use my index finger to get his mouth open. I think I'll just get him near the nipple and then he'll open his mouth himself. So, I don't know why, but sometimes they seem to like the higher nipples. Um, I guess it's maybe more of a natural height for them. But there are no more higher ones over here. They're all down low. Oh, you better take what you can get there. Sorry, got my finger in the way. Well, you get the idea. I only need two hands with this guy. So he's uh, bucking the system here. There we go. I'm getting it. Oh, I'm going to be a big... A big boo-boo. There he goes. I feel his tongue now. Getting in there. Well, you can't see it, but again, I... Instead of trying to pry his mouth open, I've kind of forced the nipple in to his mouth. Yeah, he's sucking now. So, that's uh, that's what you look for. And if you have a puppy that won't eat, then you got to right away take some action there and either get them to eat or you got to feed them. You got to get a, sometimes you could use, use a, uh, a little eyedropper type thing and give them some uh, goat's milk. You get a powder and Mix that up, and the goat's milk is the next best thing to the mom's milk. Very similar. Um, and if that doesn't work, which uh, that hopefully would work, if it doesn't, then they put a tube down in them. And you have to just put the littlest bit, of course, and do that on somewhat of a regular basis. But the thing there is you got to make sure that you're not... Uh, that you get the tube into the belly and not in the lungs. So, I have not done that myself, um, but I've watched it done. And so, I'll delete that there. Hey, hey, get, get, get. Let's see if he stayed on there. Yeah, he did. Good boy. I actually knocked him off you now. Yeah, it's hard for them to stay on there when Nala is cleaning them up. And I guess there's a... I guess there's a method to her madness there, but... Anyway, that'll do it for this little segment, uh, an in-between puppy segment with the little whelps and nursing. And so, we'll be back. Okay, number three is a male. So, three males. Um, 
He's doing good. Uh, he's just laying there now, but he was moving around. Uh, sometimes they come out to a little sleepy, but I'm real happy with his uh, initial movement. Helping Nala clean him up and see how dirty everything gets there. Uh, Nala's actually not too messy in delivery uh, compared to some. And so I'm going to help her out a little further there. But that male looks really good. So it's three males. Uh, uh, three by three. It's 3 p.m. on uh, Monday, October 5th. So she certainly has more puppies in there, I can tell. Um, and I like where Rosa was. Well, did she, didn't she? I did think she was having a second one at least when she started to deliver. Uh, but Nala's still bulging uh, pretty pretty much. So, uh, well, we will see. The Lord gives is what the Lord gives. And above all, we want healthy puppies. And so, we'll be back. Hi, George, we're back. Puppy number four was a female, a big female right there on top. Uh, that's as big a puppy as I've ever delivered. I thought for sure it had to be a male. Uh, but it's a big female. And so you see the two males under her and then the other male, you see his tail there. <laughs> so uh, uh, let Nala take a little break here. That puppy took a little while, but she got it out. I helped her out. And uh, real thankful that the four puppies seem to be doing really good. And we'll see what else uh, the Lord has for us here. I'll be back. Hi, George. We're back with Nala and her litter. Uh, sadly, number five is a female, but it was still born. So... Uh, that happens, and it happened. So very sad, but um, it's beyond my control. I did what I could do. I gave it some mouth-to-mouth, uh, -mouth and I patted on it for a while, try to get the heart going, if that's the problem. It did not have fluid in the lungs, so that was not the problem. Um, so you just never know. They come so far. It was warm and it had been living uh, not too much before it came out. I don't know, five, ten minutes maybe, uh, uh, it passed away, but it was definitely uh, still born. So, very sad. And what we have right now are four, three males and one female that are surviving. And so let's see, it looks like maybe a few more in there. And we'll just uh, we'll get back with uh, the next thing here. Okay, see you shortly. Hello, it's George. We're back with Nala and her litter. Number six is a female. And so it was three males so far. Uh, a, a female, then a stillborn female. And then now a living female so we have two living females three living males and uh yeah there's some of the heartbreak of breeding let me tell you it's really can be heartbreaking so i just couldn't have taken another stillborn puppy here and i'm very thankful that this one is good let me see i get a little up close Yeah, it just came out a minute ago. So we want them to make all the noise they can make. Noise is good. Movement is good. So now it's there getting the umbilical cord all the way down. She's very careful. Some of the moms I have to watch, but Nala is pretty precise uh, there. And so that's getting the puppy uh, all sorts of stimulated and so, very thankful that this puppy is alive after the last one. And so, we'll uh, pick it back up in a little bit. The other guys are all eating away. I'm going to change these uh, towels out again. Gets a bit messy here, but uh, it's all part of the delivery process. So, we'll be back in a little bit. 
Yeah, see now, let me deliver this one here. <clears throat> She's really pushing here, laboring. As soon as it starts to come out, I'm gonna put the camera down. So it's just the, what we call feathering her. I don't feel if I could. I don't feel any puppy there, right? So it's close, obviously, but um, she's got to push a little more, get it into the canal. I'll try to, I'll to hang in there with it here, see if she pushes it out now. It could be another. Another round. Good girl, Nala. Yeah, here's these guys here. They're constantly feeding while she's going through the whole thing. That's typical. They say that helps with uh, getting the next puppy going. That stimulates something or other. I don't know. Okay, good girl, Nala. Okay, okay. So when they do that, right, I try to calm them down a little bit. I'm sure the a lot of pain and and all going on. This is her way of, uh, you know, biting the bullet there. Okay, Nala. Okay, Nala. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. No. Now, let me turn this off. We'll be back. Hi, it's George. We're back with Nala. Um, she lost another puppy. A male. was still born. I tried everything. A beautiful, beautiful male, and the female was really nice too. And it's very sad. Yeah, there it is. There, a big, big male, and I worked on him for 15 minutes. Nothing, not a breath, not a movement. So yeah, that's a very hard breaking thing. One is bad enough and two is really bad I have to tell you. And so as a breeder well you gotta go on if you're doing something there's always obstacles and setbacks and problems and well in breeding this is the big setback as far as uh uh, just being disappointed, I guess, and saying what's it all for kind of thing there, right? And so, I'm thankful. You guys all know my testimony. And yet, some things are sad. They're real sad. And we have that here when we lose a puppy. So, well, I'm going to keep it upbeat here. That little male, he's a real energetic guy he's all over the place so I'm glad about that then there are two females and then two other males so three living males and and two uh, living females so um, and I'm not sure if she's done uh, we'll see I'll certainly uh, do an update uh, see how what else if anything is in there and so anyway I'm sure you could hear it in my voice I'm just very sad about this second one here now and so we'll be back we'll uh, pick it up either for a concluding video or another puppy and then a concluding video okay bye Hello, it's George with Watchman German Shepherd. We're here just for the final video of the Nala Victor litter. So we have these four that survived, two males, two females, and the one little guy I came out this morning and he had passed away overnight. So it's Wednesday. And he had started out good, vigorous, and I uh, thought he was going to make it, but he didn't.
I was concerned, of course, about his size. And so, very sad. So we had three that, that died, two were still born, and then this uh, third one, it, it's a male, the little one was a male. And so, very sad, always sad. But the Lord gives what he gives, and we take that, and we thank him. So, all right, I'll put this together. i just let Nala outside. Uh, it's George with Watchman German Shepherds. I do appreciate your subscribing, your liking, your sharing, comments and questions. Uh, I do appreciate the interacting and, and all the interest in the channel. And so if I sound a little down today, I am. But, got to keep going, just like everyone else in the world, and uh, trusting the Lord. And so, the Lord bless you as you trust Him today, and see past uh, some of these things, and see His uh, greater purpose in all that He's doing. And so, I do encourage you to trust the Lord. And have a great day, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.